What's up, YouTube? I'm Cooper here. By popular demand, um, I kind of constructed um, my ideal ban list. Um, for those of you that have been wanting to know a little bit more of my opinion since the last, you know, ban list discussion we had um, and things like that. So I posted topics on Facebook last night in both the Zodiac and on my page. I'm asking people, you know, what they thought their ideal ban list were. And I looked through their opinions, um, you know, their reasonings. Um, a few people brought some things to my mind that I didn't really consider. Um, that's why some of these things on this list uh, might look a little bit different. Uh, so this is a general consensus of everything that I've gathered information-wise up to this point um, on how I think things should be done on the next list. Obviously there will be more or less on the actual list, but these are just my personal opinions. So starting things off, six cents. Now, I was thinking this card might not actually get hit, um, just because it is a very sacky card. Um, you know, it's a double-edged sword. Um, it's both hit and miss, um, which is really, really terrible for the game. Uh, it's one of those cards that's um, looking at the Canada event uh, for ARG this last weekend. Um, if the guy had actually called 5 and 6 like everyone else in the world does, uh, he would have got to fully abuse the card, but instead he, placed, he rolled two, or he called 2 and 3, uh, which has been a good chunk of the Canadian mentality uh, looking at this card. Uh, but overall, I wouldn't call anything other than 5 and 6 just to get the maximum results uh, from this card. Uh, so just because there's a mentality to playing the card uh, doesn't mean you shouldn't play the card for the maximum results. Um, outside of that, this card does need to die with fire. It's a very sacky card. Um, decks that shouldn't win win because of this card when they get lucky. Um, and it's a very sacky card. Um, and out, and playing, eh, have to play out of five cards um, that your opponent gets for free is just ridiculous. Next up is Return from the Different Dimension. Uh, now, you're thinking, or we were talking in my little Skype call about this. Um, with the dragons taken care of, what could Return possibly do? Um, I wanted to go ahead and take care of the problem now. Um, just to get it out of the way. Um, I don't want to have to worry about this card becoming a problem card again. Uh, basically, it's like Solemn Judgment. I don't know why they took this card out, or didn't take this card out when Solemn Judgment went. Um, it's basically the same thing. It's just pay half your life points, bring out five monsters, win the game. Uh, it's basically a win condition in and itself. Um, until the Dragon Rulers came back, this card really wasn't a problem. Uh, it was just the occasional, oh, look, return, it's going to hit the board. Uh, but now it's officially been taken care of. So these are my two banned targets take care of these cards. Everything else in the game seems stagnantly fine at the moment. Alright, to one. Blaster, Redux, Tempest, and Tidal. Now, why would you limit all the Dragon Rulers? Uh, there's been lots of discussion that Dragon Rulers are still a viable deck at two of each dragon, and that is true, because you have to remember, when you banish a Dragon Ruler, like Tidal, you can still search for another Tidal for the next turn. Uh, in my personal opinion, that's just terrible for the game. Uh, this card shouldn't have any way to pull itself from the graveyard. Hell, none of these guys should have the ability to pull themselves from the graveyard. Um, you know, when they're removed, search for more. It, it's just bad game mechanics. Uh, I think having just one of each um, in their own respect uh, makes them, you know, what they need to be. Plus, we don't have to worry about abuse anymore. Um, now, upon that line of having one of each, I did put the babies to one. Um, now, people are like, well, you're defeating the purpose here. No, no, you're not. Uh, the thing is, you only have one Dragon Ruler in your entire deck. You have the baby, you can go minus one to recur the Dragon Ruler uh, to set up for future combos. Um, and in that right, that's not really that bad. Um, looking at it, you know, in the sense that, alright, you get to pitch your one baby to search for your one Dragon Ruler. Um, and if you open up your Dragon Ruler, your baby becomes dead in the deck. Um, it's basically Tour Guide Syndrome all over again. Uh, so there's no reason for the babies not to be at one with all the Dragon Rulers at one. Um, it's fine, in my personal opinion. Um, next up, someone brought this to my light, or to my knowledge, and it was, made me think for a little bit, Skill Drain. Skill Drain, looking at next format, Noble Knights are projected to be Konami's baby for the TCG. Yes, we know this. Skill Drain is a counter to those because they turn all of them, you know, into normal monsters, and you start beat sticking with them. So... Putting Skill Drain to 1 wouldn't be the most purple thing either, um, especially, you know, since Konami seems to hate Dark Worlds on the TCG side. Um, very strange to say that, but, I mean, let's be real here. Uh, they did kill a lot of the support with Fire, Card Destruction, Cough Cough. So, having Skill Drain go away pretty much follows the same 
logic as Soul Drain had followed on the previous list. Uh, they knew that the best deck was, you know, a graveyard removed from base oriented deck. So that's why they killed, you know, stuff that hurt dragons. That's why this went away, you know. So I could see Skill Drain actually going to one on this list just because of the potential format. Alright, now there's Stratos. Everybody wants Stratos back. I agree, Stratos can come back. The consequences of having Stratos come back, though, are with him at one, Malicious, Ecall, and a Hero Lose all have to go to two. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to like that, but at the end of the day, it's just like this. You cannot have Stratos around when any of these three cards are three because he causes inherent OTKs. Now, you all said that Heroes didn't do anything in this format. You know why Heroes didn't do anything in this format? Because Stratos was gone. Uh, I actually tested Heroes against Dragons. Uh, you can pull off some cute little tricks, but outside of that, there's not really much else you can do. So, just saying, if you want Stratos back, you have to lose these. Um, it's a coin toss. Uh, it's possible, it's not possible. It works both ways. Next up is Torrential Tribute. Um, Compulse and Bottomless need to stay where they are. Uh, Triple Myri Melia with Bottomless Trap Hole is bad for the game because it causes a mini stun engine. Um, and that's why Bottomless is going to stay at 1 for a very long time. Now, Tarantula 2, it's the least fearful of the 3. Um, it can come back. Uh, we had two form or a format or so where it really wasn't a problem. Uh, you also have to remember that it's another out to controlling boards. Uh, which is actually warranted, so having it come back to one or back to two, not so bad. Black Wing Gale. Gale can officially come back to two. It, it's time. We were messing around with Black Wings. We threw two Gales in there. It changed like one twentieth of the outcomes. So congratulations, you guys can have Gale back to two because it doesn't really change anything. Yes, in a slower format, Gale would be dangerous. Uh, but let's be real here, he really doesn't change the overall outcome of what he needs to. Hysteric Sign. Now, this is just one of those things that people are fearful of Harpies, so I went ahead and just pushed it up the list. Oh no, you lose one Hysteric Sign. Um, it's just a test to see how decks will react with only two Hysteric Signs. I know a lot of players only play two, uh, but once again it forces you to only play those two. Uh, it's just for testing. And it's just for those that fear harpies and things like that, because their field spell is a lot more broken than fate, in my personal opinion. Uh, next up, Vanity's Emptiness. Yes, a lot of players only play two. I'm basically just following, you know, what Konami's been doing these past lists, just slightly moving things up uh, to test them and see where they're at. Um, emptiness was a big issue this format. Um, it just did what Royal Oppression did all these formats ago. And then last but not least, Soul Drain. Now that the dragons are basically taken care of, uh, this card can kind of come back to two. I had no reason to, you know, leave this card at one. Um, you know, yes, mermails are a thing, but if we do get that trap card that destroys all water monsters on the field, I think we're going to have more problems than just that. So, this is my ban list. Uh, yes, I didn't touch spellbooks, constellers, or evil swarm. Those decks are not bad. So many people seem to think that they are, but on a competitive level, it is so hard to outplay Evil Swarms and Constellars, and e even spellbooks like Still Eradicator Epidemic Virus it just blows out spellbooks. Mistake is a card if you were really worried about matchups. So, do keep in mind there are appropriate counters to decks. Um, you don't need to break certain decks just because you don't like playing against them. You know, that's why certain people don't work for Konami. So, but yeah, this is my ban list. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, about this. It's not a terrible format. Uh, st probably still should be a little bit more, but for a basis, uh, it's definitely not bad. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comments section down below, and I'm out.